Hello everyone, in this lesson we're going to look at the different ways to set up a Windows 11 installation without a Microsoft account using a local account instead. Since the process of using a fake account no longer works, uh, we have to resource to different methods to complete this process. Although it is recommended to use a Microsoft account because of its benefits with the integration with Microsoft online services, a lot of people still prefer a local account for its privacy, also because you will get a more personalized profile name instead of just using part of the email address. And if you plan to use remote desktop, a local account will help you to avoid signing in issues. So, okay, let's just dive into the steps. But before, please subscribe to the channel and click the like button to help YouTube show this video to more people. It doesn't cost anything and you will be helping the channel and supporting my work. This first method works on Windows 11 Home as well as on Windows 11 Pro. And once you are on the out-of-box experience, you will do this. First, select your region and click yes. Then select the keyboard layout and click yes. On this page, make sure to disconnect your computer from the network, either by turning off the Wi-Fi, disconnecting the network cable, or if you can do neither of those things, you might want to temporarily turn off the router to cut the network connection to the internet on the computer, and then click the skip button. At this point, we're going to get this page and we will not be able to continue because the requirement of a network connection will be in place. So to skip it, we're just going to use the Shift F10 keyboard shortcut and that will open the command prompt on the screen. And then we're going to type OOVE backslash bypass NRO. We're going to press enter and the computer will restart. Now you might need to go through the same steps one more time. And what's different on this page is that now we have a new option that is called I don't have internet. And then we're going to click on that. And that will give us the screen to create a local account. So I'm just going to choose a name for the account. I'm going to click next. And now we need to set up a password. You also are going to need to set up the security questions. Now you just need to go through the privacy settings. Now, at this point, you can connect the computer to the network and you will be able to get updates and just use your computer with a local account. We can confirm that we're using a local account. If we go to the Your Info page on the settings app, we can see that we're using a local account. And then there is another option that we can use, and that is to use the Rufus tool to create a customized USB bootable media to install Windows 11, bypassing all the requirements installed, including the internet connection and a Microsoft account, so you can set up your computer with a local account. And to do that, we just need to download the Rufus tool from this page. We're going to download the latest version. We're gonna save that to the computer, and then we're going to open the file. And now when we have the app open, you will need to connect a USB drive with at least eight gigabytes of storage. Just make sure that that device doesn't include any data because this process will delete everything on that drive. And then we need to supply a Windows 11 ISO file, which you can do from the select option, or you can also use a download option right here that allows you to download the latest ISO file of Windows 11 directly from the Microsoft servers. Then select where you want to save the ISO file. Now it will download on your computer. Now, after supplying the ISO file, you want to use all the default settings, including for the advanced format options, and then click the start button. So on this page, depending of how you want to configure the installation, we need to check the remote requirements for RAM, Secure Boot, and TPM. And you want to check that if you have unsupported hardware where you want to install Windows 11. Now, to remove the requirement for 
an online Microsoft account, check this option. And this is optional, but it will make things a lot easier. And this allows the installation media to create a local account automatically. And the only thing you need to do is just to check the option and confirm the name of the local account that you want to use on your computer. And in this case, I'm just going to use admin. Now, the other settings are optional, but one example that I want to point out is that starting with version 24H2, now Windows 11 will install and it will activate BitLocker automatically. And if you don't want to have drive encryption enabled automatically on your computer, you want to check this option. However, I do recommend to use encryption on your computer. However, the two main settings that you want to check to create a local account and skip the Microsoft account during the installation of Windows 11 is this one right here and this one right here. Then just click OK, confirm that everything on the USB drive is going to be deleted and then Rufus is going to proceed to create the custom USB installation media once the Rufus tool completed creating the bootable media, you need to connect the USB to the computer that you want to set up with a local account that you want to set up with Windows 11 using a local account. But you have to make sure that that device can boot from USB and you might need to change the, the UEFI firmware on the motherboard. And since those steps are different depending on the manufacturer and even per computer, you might need to check your manufacturer support website for more specific details. Then just turn on the computer with the USB bootable media to start the installation of Windows 11. So after you started the computer with the customized bootable media, you will need to go through the clean installation process like any other installation. And this will work with Windows 11 Pro as well as with Windows 11 Home. So I'm going to go quickly through the steps because the main purpose of this video is to show you how to set up Windows 11 without a Microsoft account. Also, as you probably noticed, I'm using the latest version available for Windows 11 which in this case is for version 24H2. But if you're using version 23H2, the steps are going to be a little bit similar. You can check the video description where I'm going to leave a link to the step to proceed with a clean installation for version 23H2 and earlier releases. Now, after the installation, we we'll still have to go through the out of box experience to finish setting up Windows 11. But since we created a bootable USB using Rufus that removes the requirement for the Microsoft account, and we also instructed to create a local account for us, the setup should now be straightforward. On this page, select your origin and then click yes, select your keyboard layout, and click yes and then you can skip the uh, second keyboard layout if you don't need to set that up now we just need to set up the privacy settings and then click the set button and that's it we set up a windows 11 installation without a microsoft account and we used a local account but the process was skipped because that was done automatically by the setup from the custom usb bootable media that we created with Rufus. Now, just remember that we created the local account, but without a password. So if we sign out and now we try to sign in, we're going to be asked to create a password for the account. Then we're going to click OK and we're going to set up a password. And now the account has been updated. Now we click OK. And now we're going to sign in into the account using a password. Although the previous method works in both Windows 11 Pro and Home, there is an option, but it only applies to Windows 11 Pro. And let me show you how that works. So we're going to go through the initial steps. So again, on this page, you can configure the device name. But for this video, we're just going to skip this option. Like I said before, you can always do that later. And here's a trick to bypass the Microsoft account while setting up a Windows 11 Pro installation. Instead of choosing the setup for personal use, you want to select 
the setup for work or school option and then click next and then on this page you want to click the sign in options and on this page click the domain join instead option and as you can see now the setup allows us to continue creating a local account instead of a Microsoft account. I'm just going to use the admin username and then you just need to create a password. Now we need to confirm the password. And now you just need to create a security password to have an option to reset the password in case you get locked out. And that's it. That's how you set up a Windows 11 with a local account. Now, if in the future you decide that you want to use a Microsoft account, you can actually link your account with your Windows 11 profile. And to do that, open Start, go to Settings, and then go to Accounts. And in here, go to your Info. And right here, click the Sign in with a Microsoft account instead. And just sign in with the account that you want to use and that is all there is to it remember to like the video leave your comments subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet and i just hope this video was informative for you and i would like to thank you for viewing